Chromatography is a reliable method for purifying mixtures and obtaining desired products in high purity, based on differences between retention of the mixture components by the column. Generally, the stationary phase used to build up the column is silica, and the mobile phase is very often a mixture of relatively non-polar solvents such as hexane and ethyl acetate. The quality and integrity of the column is essential in determining the efficiency and accuracy of separation. Packing your column well is crucial in obtaining pure components. This can be done in the following way. Plug a glass column with a small amount of cotton wool, around 1.5 to 2 cm high. Measure around 125 to 150 milliliters equivalent of silica in a 250 milliliter beaker. This should be enough to produce a column of around 20 to 25 centimeters high. Prepare your solvent mixture and mix well in a large conical flask. Around 200 milliliters should be enough to start off with. Prepare a slurry by adding a sample of the eluent to your silica. Mix rapidly with a glass rod and pour gently into the glass column. Open the column tap and allow the solvent to start flowing into a flask below. Start slapping the glass column firmly, but carefully, to help packing and to ensure absence of air bubbles. Keep on loading the silica slurry while you do this. You can prepare a column slapper by cutting a short piece of rubber tubing and tying the ends with a cable tie. Once all the slurry has been loaded, run the solvent through the column around 5 to 10 times using a hand pump to compress the silica column. Once this is done, you can test the surface of the column to ensure good packing by gently lowering a flattened rod onto the top of the column, taking care not to disturb the surface. Run the solvent down to the surface of the column and close the tap. It is important not to expose the silica to air, but maintain a very minute amount of solvent just above the surface. Using a pipette, gently add your sample to the surface of the column by pipetting the crude mixture along the sides of the column glass. Keep a small amount of your sample as a crude reference at this point. Once all your sample has been added, pipette a minute amount of eluent to ensure all your sample has reached the surface. Run down just a small amount of the solvent through the column by opening the tap. Once all your sample has entered the column's surface, but there is still a minute layer of solvent above, add another pipette of eluent. Run down the solvent slightly further to ensure all the sample has entered the column. Next, begin to pipette your eluent until a significant amount of solvent has been added. Fill the column with the rest of the eluent. Prepare a test tube rack with a considerable amount of clean test tubes. Open the tap and adjust the flow rate to give a regular flow which is not too fast and not too slow. Around 5 to 7 minutes for a test tube should be sufficient. Filling them to around 3 quarters of their capacity is enough.
Once around 10 to 12 test tubes are filled, prepare a wide TLC plate and mark starting points for each of the test tubes and another spot for your crude mixture. Spot samples from each test tube and run the TLC. Once you develop this, determine whether a fraction of your mixture is eluting out or not. You can also analyze samples through GC for more accurate determination of purity. The ends of each fraction should ideally be checked in this way. Once the series of test tubes in which your product fraction elutes out is collected and you are sure that the contents are pure, pull the test tubes into a large round-bottomed flask and evaporate off most of the solvent. You can then subsequently transfer to smaller flasks as necessary as you go along. Always ensure your column is well packed before starting the run. Do this by slapping the column well during preparation and testing the surface gently with a flattened rod. Be careful to remove any air bubbles from within the column before starting the run. Never let the column dry at any point as this will lead to infiltration of air and rapid cracking of the column. Take care to maintain the integrity of the column surface. Be gentle when pouring solvents by pouring against a glass rod along the sides of the glass column. If the surface is disturbed before having started the run, you can create a vortex with a glass rod and repack the top by slapping and compression. Alternatively, you can use some sand to cover the top and allow for better protection. Ensure that all your loaded sample enters the column before refilling the column with eluent. This would otherwise lead to spreading of the crude mixture throughout the entire portion of eluent added and lead to both loss of product and poor separation. Make sure not to let test tubes overflow during the run. This can not only cause a mess but also result in loss of your product if the product fraction is eluting out.